So all you city folk out there that are watching all these homesteading channels and, and farm channels and stuff like that, you guys think you want to be homesteaders, but you just don't think you can by living in the city. I'm going to tell you guys something's probably going to blow your mind. You can't. I'm just joking, you can't. <laughs> guys, hey, today I want to throw a video up and talk talk to you guys a little bit about, not Jesse, you guys, you've seen Jesse enough, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, living in the city and homesteading and being more self-efficient uh, and stuff like that. I know I got a lot of people that reach out to me and say, hey Dutch, I live in LA, I live in uh, North uh, California, I live in New York, New Jersey, um, I live in Boston, all them places, and we just love your channel. You're you're living you're living um, my dream out there on your on your place in Oklahoma, and uh, I just wish I could do it. And you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, don't doubt yourself and just start doing it. Just because you might live in an apartment complex or a little housing addition or something like that, does not mean you guys can't be more self uh, self sufficient. You can be. Um, if you live in a, in a housing addition um, that you have a little backyard, find out if you guys can have some chickens. Find out if you guys can have some rabbits. Um, stuff like that. You guys can do it. It's just a matter of doing it. I know. I know it could be. Um, a lot of you guys are a little bit nervous about taking that first step. Um, that first initial step is uh, of getting chickens or getting some meat rabbits or growing your own garden. Uh, my advice to you guys is just do it. Get the stuff. You've guys watched plenty of videos by now, I'm sure. And if you're not, if you haven't, and you're new, um, new to YouTube and the homesteading community, and uh, and stuff like that, then watch some more, and you guys will learn so much, uh, so much knowledge out here on YouTube. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to teach you guys a whole bunch of stuff because I do a lot of stuff on the fly. And if you guys have been with my channel very long, you guys know that. And I'll tell you that I'm no expert by any means. This is how I do it. It's worked for me. There's probably a lot better ways out there to do it uh, than what I'm showing you. But this has worked for me. And a lot of stuff could work for you guys too. So my advice is, guys, just do it. Start. If you live in an apartment and you don't have room for a garden, you have. I'm, I'm sure you have room for a five-gallon bucket where you can plant a tomato plant in there. You start growing tomatoes. Okay? You guys, there's little things that you guys can do to start start living your home homesteading dream, your uh, your hobby farm dream, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you want to be more self-efficient. Uh, you guys can do it. And I just want to tell you guys, uh, I just want to give you guys some encouragement to just to just go do it. Uh, you see my little pigs. Are you going to be able to raise pigs in an apartment? I don't know. <laughs> if you want, maybe you could. Um, that's what I probably wouldn't do. But if you want to raise a pig in your apartment, go for it. This pig's going crazy on this feed right here. Look at him. Let's, let's look at him real fast. Awesome. <laughs> Jesse's came over here. Jesse's wanting some too. I've just fed him, but the sheep keep getting it all, so I'm going to have to quarantine them again. Uh, back to my subject, guys, I was wanting to talk to you guys about. I just want to give some encouragement to you, uh, to all you guys out there that are watching this video and watch and watch so many other YouTube uh, channels um, that are growing gardens and raising their own animals and stuff like that. I want to give you encouragement to tell you that you can do it. You just have to take that first initial step. Step out of your comfort, comfort zone and just do it, guys. That's what I started um, seven or eight years ago with, with three chickens in my backyard. We live in middle town. Um, you can have chickens but no rooster. So I finally said, I, I'm, I'm going to get some chickens. So I went and got me and my daughter, uh, me and my daughters went and got some chickens and a little uh, coop. And that's how it all started. Then I started a garden, which I wasn't very successful. I'm still not very successful at gardening. But this year, I'm going to try to change that. Because I, I, I've been talking to a lot of people like Bumblebee Junction, uh, Daniel from Orange Family Homestead, got the Hyde Tunnel, and several other people. I and mean, a lot of you guys have been giving me a lot of good advice because uh, if you see my video the other day, I'm wanting, we're going to do some um, raised beds. And someone said, why are you going to do raised beds? You got all that land, just plant it. I've, I've done that before, but my wife has been bugging me to do raised beds. She thinks it looks nicer and it's easier to control. And stuff. I don't know. We're going to do raised beds this year, see how it goes. Um, but off on that rabbit trail if you if i can do it guys any of you guys can do it too don't doubt yourself uh go out there and get your tomato plant put it in that bucket put it by your window and start growing tomatoes in your apartment that's all this video is about is to give you encouragement if you're on the on the boundary leaning uh teeter tottering back and forth like ah uh, i want to buy that five acres or i want to buy that two acres i want to start homesteading but man that's such a big commitment i don't know i really want to do it but i just don't know do it um, that's my advice for you guys if um, if you're capable of doing it and you want to do it go for it because it's awesome um, i wouldn't change this for anything in the world 
raising these animals. I got them all behind me. Let's look at them. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world, guys. Um, the chance to be able to raise my daughters um, up in this kind of environment is amazing to me. I know some of you guys may not be able to do that, and that's fine. But you can still you can still do the little things. Like I said, you could you can grow a little garden and buckets inside your house and little uh, containers or, or whatever you want. Or even if it's even if you, if you want to start doing the the farm thing, but you don't you don't want to actually or you can't physically put the work in, have the place and all that stuff to do your farm thing, you can go buy from your local farmer's market, a local farm, start getting fresh eggs, start getting fresh milk, which you're not going to get one from Jesse because he's a steer, but um, and start buying fresh bacon from farms. That's the things that you guys can do. Yes, it might not be self-sufficient uh, to do that, but you're living that part of the life. You're, you're, you're going to re reap the rewards off the other farm off the farmers that are doing that and that's awesome that there are people out there that are willing to do that and uh, able and that are able to raise animals for other people like some of you guys that may not be able to have your own farm so that's just some options guys that's just some options for you guys i probably just ramble on about nonsense but i really want to put this video out because i've been getting a lot of messages about how people just uh are just thankful that I've been making YouTube videos about my animals and stuff like that. Uh, I want to tell you guys, I'm thankful for you guys for watching and, uh, and caring. Jesse's, Jesse's going to get in here no matter what. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for caring and taking the time to, to watch me and my family do our thing. And uh, if you guys are, are new to YouTube and you started a channel and uh, you guys are just now getting pigs like uh, um, Spicy from Backwoods Race, he just got a pig, him and his family. Um, it may be pregnant, may not. That's some suspense there. Go check out Spicy. He'll let you know if he's going to have a little baby piglets running around. I don't know. But uh, that's that's the stuff you guys could do. Uh, even if you buy a piece of property, uh, even if you buy a piece of property like we did, we bought this uh, 10 acres, and we sat on it for over a year before we was able to do anything. But we were able to buy it, purchase it, and have it whenever we were ready to actually start our homestead. All right, guys, I'll quit rambling on. Um, I just wanted to give, I just want to throw an encouragement video out there for you guys because I've been, like I said, I've been getting so many comments and private messages just thanking me. And um, it really means a lot. It means a lot to me and my family that people actually care about this type of lifestyle. Um, it's not always easy. You guys know that. Um, but it's not always hard either. You know, you're definitely going to reap rewards for uh, your labor that you put in. You're going to get what you put into it. Yeah, guys, all right. If you guys like this uh, video, Smash that like button for me if you would. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, um, please subscribe. If you like what you see, please subscribe and click that little bell so you get notifications. When YouTube wants to send notifications out, they will, and you guys will get uh, my new content. All right, guys, if there's any uh, anything in the future you guys want me to discuss, um, I've got honeybees. Um, I haven't done anything on my honeybees in a while. Um, probably this next weekend we're going to have to open them up and, and see how, how they're doing and possibly make a split within the next couple of weeks. I don't know, but uh, that's, that's one thing. So if there's anything you guys are interested in that I haven't went over in a while, let me know down in the comment section and I'll try to get to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, I brought some marshmallows out here because I've always heard you could train piglets with marshmallows because they're so sweet and all that stuff and they'll like them, they'll come to you, so we'll find out. Show he likes the pink ones. There's a pink one. I can see where that would work. 